<laughs> You're real cute. All right. So as a quick reminder for everybody who's just here for the keytars, um, a couple years ago, I purchased this violin at a yard sale for $12. This is the violin. This is a Cece... Why are none of my lights on? Cecilio 320L left-handed violin where somebody has moved the chin rest over, put the bridge on backwards so that it is a right-handed violin now which has numerous sound issues, mainly that the sound post is now on the wrong side. Fret not first frets sticker on it, at the suggestion of Allison, I upgraded to an actual shoulder rest. I still don't know how to put it on the violin, but I do have it instead of a sponge and a rubber band. It came with two bows, both of which need help. Both. I'm gonna go to jail now. That was worst pun. So I learned after the last video so you're not actually supposed to touch the bow hair. So it's got two bows. This one's better than this one. And then in the little flip top, I have pinstriping tape that somebody told me I was going to need, but I've never actually used. Uh, I have the rosin in the little cake thing that's made of wood. I take this to work sometimes and put it on my finger so I can grab plastic bags without licking my hand. So that is the violin. The last time that I did a violin video, I spent about four hours learning to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star uh, from a video that was called You Can Learn the Violin in One Parentheses One Hour or something. Also, I'm going to take my hand splint off for this because I've had hand problems for a while. You can see the different braces that I use if you go back through the video log. There's my violin posture at like 10 o'clock, and then my bow, who's the better bow? You're the better bow. Yeah. In the other video I touched the bow hair a lot because I didn't know that that was not a good thing to do. So there is my baseline knowledge of the violin. If you remember, I have about, at this point, I've probably put about 10 hours into practicing the violin. I know I look weird with my hair up with the undercut, but I gotta put it up because it's getting in the way of my shoulder rest, and I already don't know how to use my shoulder rest, so uh, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot by getting my voluminous pink hair in the way. I think this one's worse, Bo. I'm gonna go in there. How do you use the little clips in the case? The little bow clips, how do you use those without hurting your bow hair? Um, how do you do that? Uh, the first thing, the reason I was inspired to do this was that I found a, uh, a app called Violin Notes for Beginners that was free, and I got it, and it was like just a blog post, effectively. Like I wrote a summary of it. But it was not like clear enough on the details where you could learn on your own without supplementing it with another resource. Are you supposed to like cut these off when you break a bow's hair? Can I do that? Like guitars and keytars, things that are traditionally associated with rock music, occasionally pop music. Uh, when you've got those, there's a lot of like emphasis on personalization, like. The Billy Joe Armstrong signature uh, Les Paul Jr. was designed to be able to be um, have stickers on it, and I believe it said "scratch your name" into it. Uh, so, uh, so there's a certain element of customization on it, and yet when you've got like even children playing their first violin, there's this huge, huge element of reverence in it. You respect this instrument. You do not drop this on the floor, even though, like, I'm 90% sure that there are violins that are built to get beat up. You don't have the atmosphere of ukulele of, yeah, just pick it up and do whatever you want with it. And I think that that is because, while I don't play the violin very well, I have researched quite a bit on how violins are made and how violinists operate. And one of the things about it is that when you graduate from a student level guitar into a professional level guitar 
Sometimes you're getting like a cool vintage guitar. I have a cool vintage guitar. I don't think I've ever shown it off. I'm gonna do that real fast. Welcome to I have no ability to focus. But so this is my 78 Telecaster Custom. And it's beautiful. And I love it. And I would not put stickers on it. So sometimes legendary status comes from who played it, not who made it. Whereas with violins, basically 200 years ago, two dudes made the best violins ever. And ever since then, people have just been trying to figure out what it was that made those two dudes' violins really good. While you ideally could eventually graduate to getting a Guaneri loaded, like, not loaded, uh, um, loaned to you that's worth, you know, 20 million dollars or something, you might also be getting an instrument that is, like, very old or very difficult to repair. You get a violin that's from 1914. Was 1914 a good year for violins? Somebody comment in the description. Also, was it a good year for wine? Please let me know. I want to know. So you teach young children and beginners from the start that they need to respect the violin and treat it with reverence. And I think it says training so that when you get better, you have reverence for that uh, instrument and you'll have good habits about how to play it properly in the future. That's part of what your music teacher probably tells you is to you know, respect the violin. That said, Emily, the 12-year-old delinquent who scratched her name into the front of this, Emily didn't heck and care for this violin, and there's this big, like, took a pencil and scratched a hole through the entire finish. I didn't like how that looked. You can see it in the previous video, so I put this sticker on it, because I think that's funny. There's this bump in my jaw, and so, like, doing that is not particularly comfortable. So the other apps that I got are Easy Violin Notes, Learn Violin St, and Violin... It says Violin and it's got a picture of a bow. And then over on the iPad I got... Oh, I think that's the same app! One's called Violin, one's called Violi, one's called Violin, and then there's Trala. Trawlaw is apparently a big controversial deal. It's kind of what inspired this thing to start with. But we're just going to start with Easy Violin Notes. Which, okay, so Easy Violin Notes, but it's Curls MT, that font. And then, uh, there's a drop shadow on it for some reason. This looks like something that I would have made in, like, seventh grade when I thought that I knew graphic design. They've jumped us right into this. Oh, there's a butterfly that shows up. Cool. Okay. It didn't give me any, like, real instructions on how this works. So, uh... Like, am I supposed to play them on the violin, or is this just ear training? Like, this is not super hard for me because I can sight read. How do you know when your bow is tight enough? I got this sh shoulder rest at, uh, I went to my local music store. That feels better. Uh, and I told him about this video I made, and he was like, oh, cool, do you want a shoulder rest? Because I was joking about not having one. I kind of dig this, like, girly butterfly and stars theme. It's growing on me, even despite the drop shadow. This is like a supplement to a class you're already taking. And it's a really good supplement, and apart from the fact that it seems to have been graphically designed by a six-year-old in 2003, it, um, is pretty good. It knows what it's trying to be, and it's good at that. I'm hungry. I made a quesadilla. I'm going to eat the quesadilla intermittently, but I will try to chop out any parts where I'm, like, eating, because nobody wants to see you eat. In the time since I stopped filming, I was like, oh, I'll just stop filming and work on this a little bit and let the camera charge. In that time, I have reviewed Easy Violin Notes. I watched a two-set violin video, which is totally related. I purchased something on eBay called the Gel Rest, which says that it's going to make things better. 
picked the gel rest for two reasons. One was that it had very good reviews, and one was that it came in bright, ridiculous colors. It's actually designed so that you can put it on your chin rest and nobody will know it's there, it's completely invisible. Or you could buy it in bright and fancy colors. Three guesses which one I picked, first two don't count. Aimed at people who have- where were you? Hey Keys, why do you hide out in my clothes? It's definitely aimed at people who have other sources for teaching the violin and need to reinforce the concepts taught in those classes. The layout's functional, the design is tacky but useful. Tacky but useful is basically as much my aesthetic as Game Boy sounds played through Kitar is. So the next one that we have, because we're going through these alphabetically, is called Learn Violin Step by Step. This is the splash page. It acts... It wants to access photos, media, and files on my device. I'm taking a risk here. Allow. Learn violin 1, parentheses, 20. Oh my. So this is another sight reading uh, thing. Let's see. Oh, this is awful. So, this is... There's no instructions, this is just... Just music. This is like just... This is worse than, uh... This is worse than violin notes for beginners. So this wanted access to my data, but it just... What the fuck even is this? This is getting uninstalled. Okay, so that is useless. It's like a collection of sheet music. This is... this is awful. I'm not even getting as much entertainment out of this as I got out of, uh... Yeah, let's rate the app. I wouldn't even rate this except that it asks you to every time you close. There we go, cool. Uninstall. So now that I've uninstalled that one, that was a absolute waste of time. Okay. Welcome to Violin Magical Bow. Move the violin up and down to select the strings. Move the violin sideways to play notes. Okay. So that was fun! I went back to my thyroid meds and I forgot that that meant that I'm actually hungry sometimes. Okay, so Violin Magical Bow. Uh, appears to be a game. Like, you grab the bow and you wiggle the bow, and then, uh, you get experience and unlock songs. Am I learning bowing from this? I don't think so. All of these are Christmas songs! Why are they all Christmas songs? Wait, what is MIDI in records? Please copy MIDI songs to device- Can I import MIDIs? Uh, that's really cool. I only have one MIDI file on my computer, and it's Take On Me. The person I email the most is myself. Oh, it lets me play the individual tracks. That's kind of cool. That was fun. I don't think I learned any violin from it, but it was fun. So we're gonna go back into Violin Magic Bow, but this time it's on the iPad. Uh, select your English, it's language. Fuck, um, that was wrong. It's a little bit different, but yeah, it's the same game. And it's, it's a game. Oh, heck you. So I don't usually let my iPad connect to the internet. All my internet comes through my phone, and it drains my phone. So now... I'm not giving him my real number, I gave him my Google voice number. I am a student, or I am a teacher. There will be some functional different between different identities. Please choose the correct identity carefully, and it cannot be modified after filling in. Cool. 
One of the most powerful functions of Violi App is that it understands music with a capital M. Considering the inconvenient of operating on the screen while playing the music, Violi App is designed with the following features. To start by playing four openings... That's kind of cool. So you uh, start by playing the four open strings sequentially. Tatten up the bow. Practice not beyond one measure or voice is difference so far. What the fuck does that even mean? Intonation, 43. Wrong notes, 9. I think there were more than 9 wrong notes there, honey. 77, bad tempo, fine. Okay. Oh god, it plays me back. <laughs> Please stop. I like that this one can listen to me, that's nice. It also just gave me 15 days of premium, which makes me think that after 15 days I do have to pay for, like, the nice stuff. I love that you start it with... Also, it tells me to down loud. Let's download the album. In the time that I had my camera charging, I did numerous things. I watched two episodes of The Mighty Boosh. I um, had went to get dinner with my mom, and I dressed differently for that. And I discovered this new app that is called, check the notes, check the notes, check the notes, Play Along Violin. I like play along better violin better than I liked violi. Violi. I want to say violi because it sounds like viola, but it feels a lot like it's aimed at children. Also, while I was doing this, I played and I went and get lunch and then I came back. I forgot to put the shoulder rest on. I might like playing better without the shoulder rest, which loops us back to where we were before with, um, a sponge rubber banded to the bottom of my thing. And then it cheers for you. Um, now actually, now that I look at it, I'm like, I, I'm doing this with my hand when I'm uh, playing without the shoulder rest. Probably put it back on and see if that makes me go back to doing this with the shoulder rest. It's not as comfortable. I have so much pain right now on my jaw right there. Like, um, on one side of my jaw but not the other, I do have a really big, like, bump in my bone. I don't know what that's called or something, but it is making using the chin rest really unpleasant for this long of a period of time. Maybe I'm just not one of nature's violinists. Anyhow, uh, play along violin. I like it better than violi. The only issue I have is that the Ode to Joy cuts out the hook, and the hook is the most important part of Ode to Joy. In fact, it's so important that we're going to do this real fast. So, Symphony Number no. 9 goes... Now the, like, important musical element here is that it's... That's a quarter note, bitch. That's not how it goes. You see it printed like that all the time. That's not how it goes. It's a quarter note. And this one does not get that right. Anyway, the thing I like about this that Violi didn't have, apart from the, the cheering, which is nice, there's no way to turn it off. I've tried. Apart from the cheering, the thing is that this one does actually wait for you, and it gives you your score in a way that I think is easier to understand. 
This one called Play Along Violin is probably my favorite. Let's see how they play it. See? 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 They, it's not a quarter note. They played it as a half note. They played it as a half note. That's not right. And it leaves us with our last one, which is tralla. The most effective way to learn violin. Now, there's a lot of crap you hear about tralla because they say it's free, and then they instantly want your credit card information. What is your experience playing the violin? None or some? I have some. Do I want a refresher on the fundamentals? Yes. I'm not confident with my violin hold, and I'm not confident with my bow hold, and I'm not confident with bowing, not confident with left hand position. Let's start with the fundamentals. Start learning. So Trella starts out with being like, no nonsense, which is nice. But apparently it doesn't work without an internet connection. That's interesting. Yeah, it can't load this without the internet. I wanted to, like, do a real review of this, because this is the one that everybody talks about, but, um, Trella is going to need to wait until I am, like, somewhere with actual internet, because my iPad doesn't have internet, and it is, of course, an iOS-only app. So, that's, uh, basically it. Okay, so it's been another day, you can tell, because the bed has been slept in, and I haven't made it because it will upset the dear cat. Yes, it will. You'll get mad. She already looks pissed off all the time. We don't know why. It's just her face. Anyway, so it has been, um, like, 24 hours since I last talked. It's a fucking camera. When I get paid in a week and four days, because I blew all my money on violin parts, when I get paid, I am going to purchase a tripod at Goodwill that doesn't do all the bad stuff this one does. I don't know why I've put that off. I think Violi actually can come in an Android version. Uh, yeah, so you can get Violi on, uh, you can get Violi on the, uh, Android Marketplace. But, uh, the only one that I've actually come back to and played more of is still can't remember the name play along violin the thing that i've noticed about it that i like is that all the easy songs are like easy but they uh like i'm picking up things that i can feel myself learning new things like a song will have a g sharp in it a sticker doesn't have a g sharp on it so i have to learn where to put my fingers but it gets, like, a lot more natural, and there is feedback that I get of, like, hey, that's not actually the right note, honey. That's the one I've gone back to. I actually turned it on to the internet. We're on the internet again now. And, uh, there's a lot of, there's free songs, but you can also get, like, more expensive songs. Uh, and there are, like, a fuckload of songs, uh, including like Wrecking Ball and Set Fire to the Rain, Moves Like Jagger. And all those are 99 cents each, which like doesn't actually seem particularly outrageous for me because it does take money to like code these into things and I assume, I hope, that they had to pay royalties to the people who they had to get Christina Perry's um, and approval for Jar of Sharpies, Jar of Hearts, uh, just sounds like it should be Jar of Sharpies. But now we're gonna get into the legendary, the mythical Trala, being $119 a year, $120 a year, and I know that's 10 bucks a month, but I think you have to pay for it in yearly increments. I haven't actually opened it to test, but we'll give Trala microphone access. So this does have to be on the internet for all of this. And as good as T-Mobile is about giving me 36 gigs of data a month, this is, this is the best app ever. Check this out. There's three dots, but they get bigger and smaller. Next. Bow hair should resist light pressure. 
Here's a picture of a pen touching a bow. Tighten the bow until it resists light pressure. Okay. It hasn't asked me for my credit card info yet. This is rosin. It helps the bow hair grip the strings. We're already into a video. Rosin the bow for 20 seconds or 5 minutes for a new bow. I think my bow has enough rosin on it, so I'm going to give it like... I don't think this is... I still don't... I get that like resists light pressure, but I still don't know how loose this is. And I know that my bow is not as curved as like real bows are. This feels right, but it looks wrong. Like, I don't think that that curve should go away, but I also know that my bow is not very good. I still don't get what the picture of the pen was in that one right there. I'm gonna go back to that one real fast. This is rosin. Test the tightness. Oh! It was a video. The hair should resist light pressure. Test the tightness of the bow hair with a pen. The hair should resist light pressure. Okay. Test the tightness of the bow hair. If the hair is too pen. loose, the turn hair the screws is right light to tighten the bow. Wait a sec. Go back one. Brand new. Rosin the bow for about 20 seconds. Or five minutes for I mean, I get that, like, this is a lot of video and it puts... takes a lot of work. But, bubbles, the bubbles are back. Um... We're just gonna chill here. Violin hold. Make sure the shoulder rest is on the violin. Check. This is probably wrong. People who play violin are probably looking at this and going, what the heck, Pink? Hold violin with left hand, and then there's a picture that shows your, uh... Place the end of the violin next to your left ear. This is literally what he's doing in the picture. Place... Slide the violin down to shoulder. Angle the violin slightly, about 20 degrees forward. Okay, see, this is where I keep thinking, can I pause you? No, I can't. Oh my gosh. There's no way to shut this dude up. Okay. So I just said, no! What is the purpose of muting you if you still talk? Oh my god, I hate this. Cool. So we muted it. So here's where I keep thinking that I've done something wrong, is that, like, I do have it, I feel like mine's angled way too much. Like, that's probably 45 degrees. But that's, like, where it feels not painful on my jaw. Because as mentioned before, I have, like, a bone protrusion there, and it heckin' hurts. Okay, so let's turn this back on. Uh, this is the sound of hell. Lean left. Okay. Okay. I got that one. Hold the violin with your jaw and shoulder. Keep your shoulder relaxed. If uncomfortable, make small adjustments. I feel like, um, I hate you. I hate you so much. If I paid money for this, I would be so pissed off that I can't... I should not have to mute this with... There should be a way to pop... If you make noise, there should be a way to temporarily say, do not make noise, and that should be integrated into your app. I should not have to mute it just to talk to my camera. That is so terrible. I fucking hate that. It makes me so mad. Um... See, I got so mad I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh... So, like, when you talk to ballet dancers, and people talk about, like, oh, how do you dance up on the tips of your toes? How do you do it where it's comfortable? And everyone's like, yeah, it's just not comfortable. I kind of assumed that violin was like that, because I cannot find a natural way to hold this, especially with my weird bone protrusion. Uh, the people from Gel Rest told me that they have sent my Gel Rests, and they're going to be here by Friday. Like I said, they uh, the Gel Rest comes in ebony, boxwood, rosewood, and, quote, 
fun colors for children. This just hecking hurts. Can someone please tell me what I'm doing or if it's my weird bone thing? The thing is that I don't have it on both sides, so it's not like a natural part of my jaw. Section, and then I... I am I confident with my violin hold? I'm confident that I hate you. Doing here? Oh, it's downloading my lesson now. Cool. Can I download this in the background? So if I go down here, and then I bring up Play Along Violin. Let's see how Trala is up to. It appears that it has not downloaded anything since I... So when I went to the other app, it stopped downloading. So Trala is a good app for people who have a lot of money, a good internet connection, and way more patience than me, and a mute button that's really easy to access on their iPad. Which is like none of me. So I am not impressed with it. I'd be even less impressed with it if I paid money. I feel like it's probably got good content in a layout that is just so bad that, um, yeah. Yeah, you don't like my drama, do you? Look at your pants. Yeah, this bar has moved one tick. Um, so I just realized, like, there's a really bad design that would have cost zero dollars for somebody to have had designed it better. And, like, we all know how I feel about a certain keytar. You. That's part of why it just pisses me off so much that there's no mute button, there's no pause button. All of those videos play in a loop. The only way to end the loop is to go forward or backward to another video that also plays in a loop. There was no way to pause it. There was no way to mute it. All I could do was mute it through my iPad. Shouldn't be like that. I am tired of waiting for this download. You should say, Pink, just be patient. No, because I only have 15 gigs of mobile hotspot in a given month. That month resets on the 19th, actually. I could probably go through that. It's the 18th now. I don't want to go through all my mobile data to download 10 videos in an app. Uh, if I had paid for this, I would be so much angrier. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit angry right now. So we're going to go back to, uh, play along violin. Oh, look at who's sleepy. Look at who's a sleepy kitty. Look at you, you're so sleepy. So happy, so sleepy. I'm going to let the next Trolla episode download. It's just like, there's nothing on Trala so far that I've seen that I can't get with a combination of YouTube and, uh, like, play along violin, uh, which is free. Trala is, remember, $120 every year. Maybe the other advantage that Trala has is that it does start with an assumption that you know zero violin. And, uh, play along violin starts with an assumption that you know a little bit of violin. But, like, all the violin I needed for play along violin, I got from Allison's Learn the Violin in One Yes One Hour exclamation point dot 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 video. <gasps> play along violin is available on the... Android, but it's five dollars. I should really... I'm running out of money and I really should not purchase this. I'm gonna buy it. Ultimate question, is this gonna be done faster than Trala can... Oh! It looks like this one... It looks like the, uh, five dollar version comes with all the songs. I just wish it was bigger. I mean, it's bigger on the iPad, but... It looks like... Okay, so the iPad has something called the Mega Pack that I could have bought for $5. This app was $5, so... I don't know. Let's see. Gosh, this is tiny. Oh, A-string, but, uh... 
How is the Trolla download going? Oh my god, it has not updated at all. We've been doing this for however long it is. The bar is there. I'm done. I'm done with this. So you can get it monthly for 20 bucks a month, or you can just fork over 120 bucks a year. So a quick summary of all of the Learn Violin apps that I've tested out today and yesterday. So Violi and Play Along Violin are both available for Android, if you are an Android person, but both of them seem to be so small that unless you have a way of plugging your Android into a larger screen, you can have trouble with it anyway. Um, but I liked Violi. Um, I really liked Play Along Violin. I'm, two of those apps that I got for Android that were free were just shit. Violin Notes for Beginners was just a blog post in the form of an app, I assume, to gain uh, advertising revenue. Easy Violin Notes is like a really good sight reading practice, but you're not going to learn violin if you're brand new. Learn Violin Step by Step was just a joke. Violin the Magical Bow is just Guitar Hero for your touch screen device with a pretend violin. Um, I think I could probably play that for 10 hours and not have learned anything for a uh, violin. Like, you could potentially get some ear training out of it, because the strings do match up with the strings of the violin. So I guess if I played it for a really long time, I could get this mindset of like, oh, that note has to come off this string if I'm in first position. And it's all in first position. Which is fine for me, because all I know right now is first position. I'm not ready for second position. So it was fun. I really liked that you could plug in your own MIDI file and play your own songs. I feel like that could have a potential for, like, teachers teaching young kids. Uh, where you learn about, like, the rhythm and the uh, strings that it's on. So if you're teaching, like, a seven or eight-year-old and you give them this MIDI file that's got the backing track and then their track, it could expose them to how it will sound like as a band or as an orchestra, so that they could get used to hearing the other parts but still know what their part is. You could probably get them to play more music that way. Uh, but that seems kind of like a stretch. Violi is nice because it's that one's also available on Android, and uh, Android and iPad, but again, it needs like a big screen to function really well. And it's got a playing function, and it can give you feedback on what your notes were and where you're sharp and flat. Uh, but where you play the notes along with it, it doesn't wait for you, so you have to already kind of know the piece and know the tempo in order for it to work. And it had trouble distinguishing, like, when I had three notes that were the same note in a row, but it did a really good job of saying, you're sharp or you're flat, and I could look at it and go, oh, hey, I have a tendency to play this note sharp. And so I could look at that feedback, um, and I think the only thing that you miss out on it with the uh, non-free program is that you don't get that really detailed feedback sheet which was my favorite part out of it. So that was kind of a bummer for me. I would really prefer getting that feedback sheet. But what are you going to do for free? It is free, and that's nice. And it's got a lot of music that's for free. Play Along Violin, as I mentioned before, is currently my favorite. And also, Play Along Blank is its own series. You can get Play Along Trumpet and Play Along Piano and Play Along... Uh, I don't know if they have Play Along Harp. Hang on a sec. There's no Play Along Harp, but there is like Play Along. I think they have a promo that somebody's doing it on a recorder, like a, a small child. So I wonder if they have Play Along Ocarina, because... I hope there's Play Along Ocarina. There is no Play Along Ocarina. Damn. But yeah, I was really impressed with that, and I'm glad it comes for other instruments. Uh, I liked that there's a lot of songs available, and I don't think they're particularly expensive. Play Along Violin was, like, also just fun. 
and I liked how it waited for me, but then it'll also tell me what my tempo is. And it'll say things like, hey, you played that too slow, or you had your, uh, your notes were too long sometimes. And I got to a point where I, like, realized I was playing notes that weren't on the sticker. I mean, I try not to look at the sticker too much, but I use the sticker. Um, and I had notes that weren't on the sticker that I could play consistently because I'd been playing it with the play-along violin. Um, and then Trala, um, maybe I didn't give Trala a free, like, a fair chance. But maybe when a program makes you rage quit it in the first 15 minutes, it doesn't deserve a fair chance. I'm not gonna waste all my data and sit there and just kill time watching three little loading bubbles go around. They don't even go around, they go back and forth. Watching three little loading bubbles as I wait for somebody to play a video that I cannot pause, cannot skip backwards on, cannot mute. Fit the loops. Why is it like that? Why did they think it was like that? Why did they think that was worth $119? Why? Your content might be quality. I felt like after I did the first step that I did have a better understanding of if I was holding the violin somewhat properly. That was nice. But the layout is so bad, it's not worth it. It's like when your Gramsci makes chicken fried steak, but her boyfriend is a terrible, annoying person. He's not a terrible person. He just starts talking about how you can cure mental illness with turmeric. Anyway, so, uh, that's the thing where, like, I want to hang out with Trala's content, but I hate the way it's formatted. It's so bad. It took me so long to download, and then I have to download more, and then it doesn't give me access to... Like, Violi charges money, but at least without the money, you get access to enough of the system that you can learn the violin on your own. And Trala is, like... $120, and without paying, you don't get anything. And on the one hand, that is fine. It costs money to make an app like that. It costs money to pay teachers to do proofreading, to do code. I recognize that things don't need to be free, but if you are offering a service where you charge money, and the service that you're providing is something that is filled by other people, for free or very little money, you need to know what makes your service better than the other service, better than the free service, and you need to be able to express that to potential clients. And the trial version of Trala just pissed me off so much. So that's really not fair. That's not a fair review. I'm not gonna be like, I hate Trala in the um, video description. Whoops. Let's start. Not good. I begin again. I think I've gotten worse. I've gotten worse. is that I'm trying to hit the blue line on the sticker when all I really need to do is butt those two fingers up against each other because I can hit the pink line that's the second line on the sticker but when I go for the third line I go sharp and I think I just need to get used to butting those two fingers up against each other which makes me think I think the sticker is sabotaging me. Curse of the sticker. Revenge of the sticker. I'd like to thank Media the Keytar Kitty for being a cute YouTube mascot. I want to thank my friend Leela for making that painting for me. Uh, my friend Monica did this painting. I've had a lot of people ask about what that painting is, so I guess I'll try to show you. Um, it, it has mouths. Like, I don't know if you can see them. There you go. It has creepy mouths in it. It's great. So good.